All right. So right now, Miss Han, you are going to talk about um, reproduction and heredity, reproduction and heredity, life cycles, sexual asexual reproductions, and Mendelian genetics, right? Yeah. And everything about this one. Don't worry, you'll be able to do that. I mean, you can start now. Yeah. So I will go first with a uh, life cycle. So the series of <clears throat> the series of stages and changes an organism goes through during its life is called its life cycle. Uh -huh. and I um, kind of like do a lot of research in this. So I found out there was a term called metamorphosis. So frog go through major changes during their life cycle. Um, uh, so frog move through these stages in a process called uh, metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, um, metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, yeah. Um, so first of all, um, the, the mature adult, adult um, female frogs lay eggs and then um, a frog larva hatch from the eggs Frog larvae are called um, tadpoles, and they live completely in water. And also, it has a tail, not leg. As the young frogs move into juvenile stage, they begin to grow legs, and it's called uh, frog legs. Eventually, frog legs lose their tails and become uh, mature adults that can reproduce. And this process. This process is um, go over and over again. So uh, all amphibians have a very similar life cycle to this one. Uh, we have the salamander and um, butterfly. Butterfly also goes uh, in a, a process kind of like this one, but yeah. it trained the name. Uh, so for butterfly, we have a dirt into egg into lava and pupa, and then pupa go into a dot again. And um, yes. Also, some insects like uh, crickets or grass the chopper, crickets or grasshopper, right? Yeah. They undergo mm -hmm. metamorphosis. No big hun, Metamorphosis. Um, actually, goes through a process called incomplete uh, metamorphosis metamorphosis yeah metamorphosis uh, during this process process. Young in process during this process young insects called um, names i think um they they names uh, looks like uh, kind of similar to others others and uh, I, I think we also we also need to mention uh, plants life cycle. So uh, mature plants produce seed, and then um, it has a process called germination. There um, is a process. Có một cái đó. There is, there are, there yeah. is or there are process. There is a process uh -huh. called germination. So nấy mầm. Yeah, there Gen is a germination. Yeah. Yeah, germination. Uh, germination occur when the plant begins to grow from uh, a seed. Mm -hmm. As soon as the seed begins, uh, we say that it has germinated. Into and, uh, a seedling, right? Nó thành yeah. Cái nó gọi là cái seedling. Yeah. Develop, um, once, the, um, one, once the plant develops leaves, we call it a seeding. And um, the seedling, plant... Seedling, seedling. Oh, seedling. 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 Uh -huh. uh, the plant continues to grow until it becomes a mature plant that um, that that able to uh, produce more seed again. Um, okay. So we we can't fully grow organism a uh, mature organism, and organism they are able to reproduce. Um, all living things. Um, produced offspring as part of their uh, life, cycle. life cycle. Some animals uh, produce eggs. For example, we have uh, mm. birds, birds, frogs, insects. Some give birth uh, to to live young, like um, horse or human being having having a baby. Um, some plants produce seeds. 
So like I can sort them into three kinds. We can sort them into three kinds, X, live young and C. Um, also, I think I have come into a part called, called alternation of generation. So in this part is um, they they mentioned about mitosis and meiosis. Um, uh -huh. We have um, my mitosis is a type of cell division in which one cell divide um, and it produced two um, genetically identical daughter cells. Whereas meiosis is a type of cell division in which one cell divide and uh -huh. it produces a cell or cell with um, um, half of the number of uh, chromosomes. So in meiosis, we have deployed cell, um, which which is the which are two copies of each kind of chromosome into haploid cell, just one copy of each kind of chromosome. Mm -hmm. So the life cycle um, we have is that we started with uh, saporophyte, and um, it produced spores by my, my, um, meiosis and then spores uh, go through mitosis it became um gametophyte gameto is something yeah gametophyte gametophyte haploid okay. Haplo and then yes uh gam gametophyte haploid it go into it is turned into a uh, zygote by yeah. um and zygote also, yeah, uh, zygote is go through mitosis to become so sporotophyte again. So, and it uh, goes over over again. Okay, I yeah. think uh, we should focus on like um, I think animals or something related to human, you know, because these things, what you're doing is very much related to humans. So you should yeah. do something related to human. Don't go too far into like as uh, plants and animals, something like that, you know? Uh, yeah. All right, let's go to sexual and asexual reproduction. What about it? <clears throat> so, um, you know, one organism by itself can turn into two organisms. So this is known as a sexual reproduction or non-sexual reproduction. And uh, um, if in a case where um, two organisms or at least two cells from um, two organisms or, or at least cells from two organisms, like they need to get together in order to produce a third organism. And that is what we call uh, sexual reproduction. So sexual reproduction is requires the combination between two organisms. Like for for example, we have mother. We need an an egg cell from mother and sperm cell from father, and then uh, they go in. It's going to we go into form new cell, and that new cell can become the offspring. Mm -hmm. And um, there are many types um, of reproduction of uh, a sexual reproduction um, that I that I found out. They are, we have binary fission mm -hmm. and uh, mitosis. So the, the key difference between binary fission and mitosis is that binary fission um, is applies to um, prokaryotic, um, prokaryotic oh, cells. Prokaryotic cells, yeah. Yeah, and uh, mitosis. Phân, phân 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 phân. Yeah, and mitosis is applies to eukaryotic cells. Mm -hmm. uh, in bi binary fiction, fiction, one of the... fiction, not fiction, okay? Fiction là like ảo tưởng, giả tưởng, còn fiction là cái sự tách rời ra. Fiction. Yeah. Uh, one organism splitting into um, two organisms. Uh -huh. And. Um... <cười> yes. 
Um, so binary fission applies to prokaryotic cells because um, the, this um, this organism that that they don't have organelles or, or a nuclear membrane, they don't tend to have a multiple um, chromosomes. And for things that they do have nuclear membrane, multiple chromosome, or things that have membrane um, brand organelles, um, then we have mitosis. Uh -huh. So mitosis is like the you can analog of the binary fission, but now dealing with eukaryotic cells. So you, um, eukaryotic cells are more complex. So this process, this process is I more complex. Process is more complex. Um, along the line of binary fission, I I want to mention another type of asexual reproduction. Um, that is when you know, in in which case of a mother cells produce birds of a smaller daughter cell, like um, binary fission. It has to replicate all of its DNA, and then that DNA get inserted into a daughter cell. But but in here, the end product we have here is a bigger cell and a small cell. And that small cell, it has budded off the bigger it one. It has what? It has what? Budded off. Budded off. Yeah, budded off. Okay. And this is, so it's let's just on... say it buds off. It just, yeah. uh, let's just say it buds off, okay? Uh, không có cần phải xài cái đã thì quá khứ nhưng phức tạp đâu. Don't have to use past tense in this one. Just use natural, like simple present, okay? Dùng hiện tại đơn là được rồi. It buds off, okay? And okay. this is called uh, budding. Budding is another form of uh, sexual reproduction. Yeah, and uh, we, um, besides budding, mitosis, binary fiction, we uh, we also have um, a process called fragmentation. Okay. Um, uh, it's um you know to form a organism from a piece of an original organism. Uh -huh. So, for example, like uh, in starfish, mm -hmm. if you cut a part of the or the leech, right, or the leech, right, con <laughs> dia. Uh, oh wait 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 wait. Um, are you okay. talking about? You're talking about starfish, okay. right? But yeah. starfish is multicellular organism, not a con mà đa bào mà multicellular organism, isn't it? Yeah. Are you sure about it? Yeah. Hey. All right. So maybe let's just say talk about asexual reproduction. For example, bacteria. Let's just stick to that, okay? For example, the E. coli that can reproduce itself. It, uh, for uh, in a form of binary fission once every 20 minutes in optimal condition trong cái điều kiện optimal môi trường mà tối ưu một con E. coli nó có thể nó binary fission undergo a binary fission nó chia đôi ra một lần mỗi 20 phút yeah. right so, so let's just say that is asexual reproduction you know let's stick to the basics okay Uh, hey, well, uh, I'm kind of like confused a little bit because um, những cái mà em đề cập nãy giờ phải là multicellular đúng không thầy? Yes, of course, those things are multicellular. Yes, you mentioned. Yeah. And then okay. we have How about the sexual reproductions? Like, can you give examples? Hmm. I cảm thấy giống như là cái uh, mấy mấy cái nó nó hơi bị um, lang mang á. I feel like it's a bit vague what you're talking about. Like there's a lot of um, lengthy details, you know. Okay, yeah. please continue. Um, có một cái nữa là pathogenesis state, pathe pathogenesis. Like you have an egg on its own that does not need to be volatilized. Uh, and it can turn into a multicellular organism. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I think I will go into uh, Medallion Genetics and its application. 
Okay, Mendelian genetics. All right, let's go there now, please. So um, the history of uh, genetic, uh, modern genetics is, you know, uh, we there are there are two famous names in biology, Darwin and uh, Mendel. So uh, Gregor Mendel, he is an Gregor Gregor Mendel. Gregor. Yes. Mandel. Gregor, Gregor, Gregor Mendel, yes. Gregor, Gregor Mendel, he is an uh, Austrian Aust Austrian monk. Monk. Uh, monk. Uh -huh. He is the father of um, modern genetics, and uh, he had made uh, experiments uh, with pea plants. And uh, um, he, you know, he, he take a look in seven different traits from these pea plants. Uh, they are flower, flower color, flower position. Uh, the seed color is yellow, is yellow or green. Uh, the seed uh, texture, it is smooth, touch, um, crinkle. The color of the pot, like it's yellow or green. Mm, the pot shape in, um, and the stem height, 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 height. So the, re um, the question is, why did he choose pea plants but not other? So there are three reasons um, why did he why did he choose pea plants? So the pea plants it has a number of um, visible traits that can vary. Like I have mentioned before, we he 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 take um, a look at seven different traits. So um, it leads to the fact that the results are easy to observe. And uh, secondly, the generation of pea plants are short, and offspring are many. So we we he can like he can um, you know do the data. Data are easy to gather. Um, and the last one is would be um, it is easy to it is easier to control um, mating by removing the the stamens. The stamen. The, st the um, stamen of the uh, flower, you mean? Yeah. Now, then he could, uh, you know, like uh, deliberately cross fertilize with uh, pollen from other plants. So he had like completely, uh, complete control over which plants were mating with which plants. Right. So uh, it's not a random uh, mating, it's not a random reproduction. But it's a control one, right? It's a control mating, isn't it? Yeah. Giống như là giáp phố nhưng mà được điều khiển, được kiểm soát rõ ràng. Yeah, that's a control mating, not random. And uh, so let's uh, let's talk about Mandel experiment and his conclusion. So uh, we have. Uh, we have um, the P generation or the P cross is the parental cross. We have the purple flower. So uh, as I mentioned before, we have he had um, looked into for seven uh, different traits, but I will take uh, the flower color as an example. Um, he, he used uh, the purple flower and the white flower. Um, he crossed them and then also how did he get Cross. So he used a brush to uh, transfer pollen from the male flower over mm -hmm. the female flower. Okay. Then the, the female flower grew seeds, and then he he used those seeds. Um, he 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 take those seeds to plant them in the garden, mm -hmm. and then when the seeds grew, they became the the F one generation. And what happened next is that. He 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 saw in the in the F one generation. He saw in the F one generation. Uh, what happened to the peas in that generation then? Yeah, <clears throat> one one hundred percent of the offspring uh, grows purple flower. So, what Mandel learned is that some trees are um some and, some okay okay you should mention that he repeat the experiment by lặp lại thí nghiệm nhiều lần nha. You have to repeat right. the experiment many times, and right. then the result comes out similarly, right? 
Yeah. Okay. So what? 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 What else? So, so it's a long journey. He did a lot, and um, he what he learned is that some traits are dominant, dominant, and some traits are recessive. So to be more precise, um, precise. the white precise, um, the white trait were were hidden or covered. Hidden. Hidden. I am hidden. hidden. The white tray were hidden or covered. Um, so this is um recessive tray. And so the purple is dominant because it appears to, to be hiding the, the expression of the white tray. What uh what he do next is that he allowed the plants of the uh, of the F1 generation to self-pollinate by you know he transferred pollen from the male parts to its own female parts. So, um, plants so it often... means they he allows them to cross to cross pollinate, right? Yeah, cross pollinate. Cho nó thụ phấn chéo với nhau, right? Yeah. To cross pollinate. So F one would F one, right? Yeah. So what yeah. happens? So what happened when uh, when the F one Cross pollinate with each other. Um, he he collects the seed of the F one generation and plant them, and it became the the F two generation. And he he noticed that um we had when he got the data he made he do the calculated and it turns out that every three purple flower, the one could be half white. So seventy five percent of it's not exactly seventy five. You know, it's like roughly. Nó, nó, nó gần tương đương nó gần sắp xỉ thôi chứ không hoàn toàn chính xác gì đâu. Yeah, roughly. This is roughly. Let's just say roughly about uh, every three purple flower you would have one. Um, no, no, sorry. For every four flowers, three yeah. would be purple and one would be white. Cho yeah. mỗi bốn cái hoa thì ba hoa là purple, một hoa là white. Vậy đi. So um, what he conclude then is that offspring won't, won't always resemble the parents so so we can see that in f1 we we have uh 100 the purple flower but in f2 it appears the the white flower which means that um, the idea of blending in the past was wrong he, he proves that um hyper blending um hypothesis is wrong and also he mentioned that trees can skip generation so the uh, the um, that is in the we can see that the white flower was skipped in the f1 generation and then it's appeared in the f2 generation uh -huh. um, yeah. so it means so, that so not so you know the tình trạng lặng nó không có bị tiêu diệt so the conclusion can be drawn after like several um he repeat the experiment many times. You have to always say that, okay? Phải yeah. lặp lại thí nghiệm nhiều lần mới chứng minh được cái điều gì đó. You have to repeat the experiment many times. And then it turns out that the recessive trait of the white flower is not destroyed, okay? It's just hidden. It's or not expressed, right? Nó không được biểu hiện rồi Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, what next then? <clears throat> and then uh with with that um with that with that experiment result in experiments, uh we have three law um that is they are lot of dominance, lot of independent assortment, and lot of uh, segregation. So law of dominate uh, dominance mm -hmm. is that uh genes can be dominant and recessive and in other way um we can say that dominant form of a, a gene is expressed mm -hmm. a lot of independent assortment um is that genes are sorted independent of so the alleles the alleles are um basically resorted independently right to each other no liên quan mấy cái allele nó phân ly một cách không một cách độc lập với nhau right yeah yeah like there's there's no connection between the the flower color and the seed texture, uh, the pot, like that, yeah. the pot color. Uh, oh, in number. other words, the traits do not affect each other, right? Yes. Different traits do not affect each other. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Những cái yeah. tính trạng khác nhau nó không ảnh hưởng đến nhau nha. 
different traits do not affect each other when they express out khi mà chúng biểu hiện ra okay so uh, what else then um and in he found out the lot of independent assortment in when he doing experiments with two traits at a time like um the the, the hybrid across like two traits can be uh, assessed at once when the very hybrid cross lie hai tính yeah. yeah so he um, found that law when he do die hybrid cross of two different traits right yeah so what is the result can you describe that uh, experiment <coughs> yeah. mm. Uh, the result of this experiment is that um, it's shown that you know each trait will you know like um, it's turned into different like all of these different traits were independent of one another and I know that I'm... so it means that okay so let's say that you start the uh, the p generations with like a uh... Cái, cái gì mà nó, nó ra chính bằng một á uh, It's um, let's start with the shape of the P And then the color of the P, ok Hình dạng của cái hạt và cái màu sắc hạt đi Yeah Ok Ok, so let's uh, describe that Have you, have, mm. you done the, have you done research about it or have you read about it? Yeah, I did, but like <laughs> I, I understand okay. why they, they... Hạt, uh, cái cái quên mất thầy quên mất màu xanh lá cây với màu vàng cái nào trội đó. Dạ cái um... của hạt đúng không thầy? Dạ cái cái tính chất hạt. Oh, let's say dye hybrid cross. Vàng vàng. If you check it out, uh, there's a picture about it, and here you can see. Vàng vàng. Right. So it seems to me that green is actually the recessive trait. Cái màu xanh là cái tính trạng lặng nha. Wrinkle yeah. is also recessive. Cái hình hạt nhăn cũng là recessive luôn. So first, can you describe this one? This is a this is P, okay? And this one is F1 and this is F2. You can describe this one, I think. Uh, so like in the the P generation, parent generation, we had two uh, different uh, types of a trait. Um, the plant, yellow two P plants. Uh, you have to say that it's a male and a female one, okay? Yeah, the male and female one. And, uh, and a yellow round shape, and a yellow round shape, P is allowed to so let's say the yellow round shape p it's allowed to cross with the uh, green wrinkled p hạt xanh nhăn được cho cross với à, hạt vàng tròn được uh, cho phép là lai với lại hạt xanh nhăn and yeah. as the F1 generation, what is the result? <clears throat> um, the, we have the, the yellow round shape P is uh, to produce the um, uh, uh, alila, alila, uh, big white and uh, big white and R white. I am big. Big white and big R, and in the in the that is the genotype. Đó là kiểu gen. I'm talking yeah. about a phenotype because back then people didn't know what genotype. You know, cái hồi đó làm gì biết đến genotype đâu? Người ta biết kiểu hình thôi à, biết phenotype yeah. thôi. So in the F1 generations, uh, it comes out a hundred percent round um, shaped uh, i mean 100 percent yellow round shape p okay jump yeah. jump hạt vàng tròn isn't it yellow round shape okay and if you allow the f1 generation to cross with the f1 generation again it's a it's um they cross each other okay 
So what is the result at the F2 generation? In F2, uh, in F2 generation, a strange phenomenon happens, and you can see there are four different phenotypes. Ở đời F2 nha, yeah. nó sẽ ra bốn cái uh, phenotype kiểu hình khác nhau. With roughly this kind of ratio, với sắp xỉ là cái kỷ lệ như này. Nine, so basically nine uh, yellow round nine yellow round three green round three yellow wrinkled and one green wrinkled okay wow. so it's a nine three three one ratio they like in Bavamo what is exactly the products of three one times three one ratio nó là cái tích số của hai cái này it's a product it's the product of three one ratio with another three one ratio isn't it nó là cái tích số của cái tỷ lệ ba một nhưng ba một thôi Isn't it? Okay, yeah. so what is the um, what is the conclusion from this experiment? Of course, he did repeat experiment many times using all the kind of um, combination as well. I'm sẽ repeat cái thí nghiệm này với rất là nhiều lần và có nhiều cái um, combination khác nhau nữa nha. Nó ra những tỷ lệ khác nhau. Different combination will produce different like um, um, ratio as well. So it's not always going to be nine three three one, you know can be other kind of ratios but then I think you should also mention at the very beginning why the pea plant tại sao ông lại chọn cái cây pea plant này tại sao lại chọn cây đậu Hà Lan mà ông chọn cây nào khác I think I I already mentioned that in in the beginning is that there are three uh, reasons why uh, they chose he chose he chose pea plants Um, it is because um, you know pea plants it has a um, um, variety of visible traits that can vary, and also the generation of plants are short and offsprings are are many, and also um, pea plants they are easy to control in in mating in mating because. Um, he just need to remove the stamens and then he could uh, deliberately uh, cross fertilize with uh, pollen from other plants. Hello. What do you say? <clears throat> Once again, please. <clears throat> uh, I just said uh, three reasons why We should, uh, why he did he chose uh, pea plants, not other plants? Okay, did you mention that it's really cheap and it's easy to grow, right? Nó rất rẻ yeah. và nó dễ trồng nha. Yeah. And another reason I can say is that for um, the time period between each generation is short. Cái khoảng thời gian giữa những thế hệ á, nó thấp, nó, nó ít lắm cho nên là mình có thể làm được nhiều thí nghiệm. So basically, the time period between the generations is quite short. So it means that Mendel can do many experiments in his lifetime, okay? To confirm yeah. his finding. And yeah. also, uh, the pea, you know, after the experiment, you can cook it, right? You can just, you know, you, you make soup with it. Yeah. Làm sao thí nghiệm cái ăn luôn được. And you have mm -hmm. to also understand something that Mendel worked for the church, okay? He was a monk. And the church does not like science people, okay? So he has to do his experiment in secret. Ông là cái người yeah. theo đạo mà. Ông theo đạo Thiên Chúa và ông là monk. Mà vốn nhà thờ đâu có ưa những người mà làm khoa học đâu. You know what happened to Galileo, right? Yeah. 
they burn him alive đốt thiêu sống luôn á basically by the time of Mandel uh, he has to do his experiment secret he has a secret room in the monastery ông có một cái phòng bí mật luôn á ở trong cái tu viện đó mãi sau này ta mới phát hiện ra 50 năm sau khi ông chết á about 50 years after his death people found like the secret room and then um, they people found like uh, what Mandel did the experiment and then he became famous you know but yeah. during his time Mandel was never rich okay trong suốt quá trình đời của ông ông đâu có giàu có gì đâu ông um, tạm đủ có đủ tiền để sống rồi cùng anyway um <coughs> okay we should continue with um other the other ones yeah um and then we have the law of uh, segregation so it said offspring inherit one gen copy from each parent so you mean each you know, offspring so receive a copy of uh, of um half of a copy of each, each parent right yeah it's called alleles. So like, it's called alleles yeah allele cái thời đó làm gì biết đến cái thái nghiệm về allen đâu Yeah. Allel, uh, alleles. The alleles. What the alleles? I say allele. The alleles. They don't alleles. know what alleles is, but each, um, but the law of segregation say that. What's the law of segregation again? Offspring inherit on one gen copy from each parent. So like the purple flower has two copies of purple genes, genes and the white flower has two copies of the white genes. genes. But the genes, mm -hmm. genes, but the offspring in the middle receives one from each parent. Right, I see. All right, you should also talk and about this test cross. Life on the line. Ah, oh, don't want. Um, there's a lot of things. Yeah, there's a lot of thing in there. Okay, what is like, test cross uh, then? I I try to search for the word life on it in English and it does not show up. But I I think when I watched a video about it, I I, I come to the I saw the word test cross, but um. So it's basically to test the 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 genotype of the yeah. creature in question nó để kiểm tra cái kiểu gen của cái cá thể mà đang đặt dấu chấm hỏi đang 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 kiểm tra yeah. to test the genotype of the, of the um, species in question whether it's um, homo is it homo is it homozygous or, or heterozygous. heterozygous là nó đồng yeah. hợp hay là dị hợp thôi yeah all right and can you explain um, um, the um, test cross then okay you have a picture here very easy to follow I guess and now it's in HD more or less all right you can describe it now so a test cross what do you have sure okay uh, so on the left side we have the A diagram. It's shown that um with the with the genotypes uh which the big T the big T big T uh which <coughs> which is homozygous dominant nó là đồng hợp trội. Yeah. T um so when they so when they go into F2, we have uh, the big T from Thorn and uh, small T from cái từ đó đọc là dwarf đúng không thầy? Dwarf. Dwarf, đúng không? Dwarf là lùn á. Dạ, dwarf. Lùn á. Dwarf. Yeah. A dwarf. Yeah. Yes. Then, um, so in, in the end of production, we have it's a combination between um, the the the, t, the big T and the small T and then we get and then we got um a heterozygous uh big T small T which um which can uh, which uh drew the tone uh the tone trait 
and on the and the the ratio here is uh one zero, um, which describe the 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 big T and the small T. Okay. And okay, on so the... you always have to cross the uh, the species in question with a homozygous recessive, right? Với luôn luôn lai cái cá thể đang đặt cái chấm hỏi đó với một cái con mà đồng hợp lắc. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, can you describe, please continue now. On the on the right side, we have the B diagram, and it it shows that um we have the now the uh, genotype uh, torn, it has um, the phenotype um, big T, small T, and then the, with the dwarf, which is yeah, um, small T, small T, and the, the, the big T and small T is, um, you know, is you know, is divided into two parts, the big T and small T, and then it uh, when we cross with the dwarf. Uh, small t, small t, small t. Now we have um, the ratio that is um, big t, small t to small t, small t. And that is when we got uh, two um, two types, I know, two traits um, horn and uh, dwarf, one horn and one dwarf. So basically, um, the test cross is to check if um, check the genotype of um, um, <laughs> genotype of uh, whether whether that um, that tree is homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Okay. Right. So basically, the based on the ratio of the F one, it can tell you whether the species in question is homozygous dominant or heterozygous, right? Dựa vào cái yeah. tỷ lệ của đại F one, mình có thể biết được là cái cá thể mình đang in question, cái cá thể đang đặt dấu hỏi á, nó là đồng hợp uh, trội hay là dị hợp. Nếu ra tỷ lệ 100%, if it's 100% uh, F1 something, then the species in question is surely homozygous uh, dominant. Nếu 100% F1, F1, thì suy ra nó sẽ, nó sẽ cái cá thể mà đang uh, được test á, nó là một nó là đồng hợp trội, homozygous dominant. If the F1 ratio comes out 50%, 50% or 1-1, 50-50 hoặc là 1-1 á, then the species being test being tested or the one in question is a heterozygous one nó là một cái con dị hợp nha okay yeah. this is test cross okay the test cross can be done with dihybrid as well dihybrid cross as well or with two traits cái test cross này có thể cross hai trait cũng được nha yeah but normally uh, people talk about like only one trait test cross two traits okay um but it's going to be much more complicated than that anyway you don't have to talk about it all right so let's continue now but everything uh, we have mentioned um it just it's just right in the in the case of the complete complete dominant right uh, when it comes yes. to... in case of complete dominance those thing everything we have said before are correct but in case of incomplete dominance what happened yes. yeah. incomplete okay so the test cross is uh, when you have that <coughs> So well, I think um, in in the case of incomplete dominance, the heterozygous is appears to be a different. Uh, it's going to be a different. Um, it um, is rules a different type of um, 
trai cũng à, không à, Or what? có nghĩa là cái dị hợp đó nó sẽ quy định một cái tình trạng khác maybe it's uh, between the between like, the okay, one uh, one typical example is between the per the flower color uh, hoa đỏ lai với hoa yeah. trắng ra cả tự nhiên ra chấp phần trăm hoa hồng đó. Yeah, so one right. Typical example okay. is uh, uh, the red flower cross with a white flower, and then you have a hundred percent. F one is hundred um, percent pink flower. So it means that the F one generation shows a mix of the two traits, which means that the red is not totally dominant. Over the white, cái màu yeah. đỏ nó không hoàn toàn nó trội so với lại cái màu trắng. And yeah. of course, F1 uh, cross with F1, the F2 generation is going to be different. Yeah. Nó sẽ ra cái tỷ lệ khác lắm. Mm. Okay, but we One. don't we don't often talk about that. Okay, cái khúc mà F1 với F1 nó không nó thường nói với đó đâu. Trội không yeah. hoàn toàn đến cái mức mà F1 thôi. Là ta biết được yeah. là cái tính trạng màu đỏ nó không có trội hơn hoàn toàn so với cái màu trắng rồi. Yeah. Còn cái khúc mà đằng sau đó cái phần hậu thì không quan trọng. Uh. All right, so that's incomplete dominance. This incomplete dominance can happen to a lot of other traits as well, you know. Yeah, and now I think I will you know, talk about some uh, genetic vocabulary because there are so many new terms we need to clarify. So we have um, allele, allele, allele. Um, alleles, is alleles. Alleles, alleles, alleles. Um, so it um, articulate form of um, a, a gene. For instance, the gene of the flower color um, comes into two forms, purple mm. or white, or uh, the gene of the pot color mm, is green or yellow. Or uh, another example is that um, the human blood type we have um, three uh, three forms A, B, or O. So those are those are the example of alleles. And then we have um, a genotype. So genotype is basically a combination of two um, alleles. So we have two parents, one allele from mom, one allele from dad. So the combination of those two alleles determines our uh, genotype. In genotype, we have uh, three types, um, homozygous um, dominant, homozygous uh, recessive, and heter heterozygous. Yeah. So homozygous dominant is the combination of two dominant um, alleles. For example, we have big A, big A, or big B, big B. Um, so the, the capital letters are used to present um, the dominant alleles. And um, homozygous recessive, it is a combination of two uh, recessive alleles. We have a uh, small a, small a, or small b, small b, um, and the, the lowercase letter is um, now used to represent for res uh, recessive alleles. And then we have a uh, heter heterozygous. It's a combination of one dominant uh, alleles and one recessive allele. Uh, for example, we have big A, small a, or big B, small b. We have a phenotype. Phenotype is a physical expression of the gene. Uh, for example, we have um, big, big P, big P, and uh, big P and small P. They represent for the purple flower, and uh, small P, small P. They represent for the white flower. Uh -huh. um, also, I noticed that there was a term that is called uh, he hybridization so basically hybridization is the... lai hóa hybridization nghe giống lai hóa của cái của của, của cái hóa học á dạ nó giống uh, 
Nhưng mà đây là pre it's, it's a different thing, yeah. Hybridization, hybridization here is a different thing, yeah. Um, is is the breeding true breeding and with the true breeding? Là lại thông chủng đúng không này? Cái hybridization. Yes. And um, you know, phenotypes don't necessarily don't necessarily con uh, convey uh, genotypes. So like it does um, not necessarily convey convey cái kiểu hình đó, nó không có nhất thiết là nó convey nó không nhất thiết là nó biểu hiện ra cái um, kiểu gen. And so that's why we we need to, to have the test cross. Exactly. In order to to find out if the creature in question is true or not true or heterozygous. Oh, I mean, is it true or is it a hybrid? Là con lai hay là là con phòng chủng? Yeah. And um, I think we should also talk about something called um, hybrid vigor or something like that. Cái sự mà, I mean, the benefits of a hybrid. Lợi ích của chuyện có con lai á. Like the hybrid of, uh, I mean, the uh, benefits of a hybrid is that the hybrid will, all, will almost always survive better than each of the parents, you know. Nó gần như luôn luôn là nó sẽ trội hơn mọi mặt so với cha mẹ của chúng về cái, cái khái niệm mà nó tồn tại được tốt hơn á. Nó sống nó tồn tại tốt hơn hẳn luôn so với việc cha mẹ. Cao lớn, chất lượng tốt hơn cha mẹ luôn á. Like better uh, length, better quality and just generally bigger better you know than yeah. the parents that's what they call hybrid like the importance of hybrid right yeah the importance of hybridization or hybrid yeah. well mm -hmm. that is important yes hybridization ensures that the hybrid themselves can survive better in the environment. Cái chuyện mà lai hóa nó đảm bảo cái con lai ấy, tính bản thân con lai nó sẽ tồn tại tốt hơn hẳn trong môi trường. You know. Okay, so uh, what else then? Hmm. Please continue. Um, we I also know that we have a thing called uh Punnett squares. So it's um genetic tools used to uh, predict offspring uh, probability. Exactly. So what is a Punnett square then? This is a Punnett square. Yeah. So like we, we use it to figure it out <clears throat> the, the probability of um, offspring. Mm -hmm. When we perform a test, right? Yeah. When we perform an, um, uh, when we perform a uh, cross, right? Khi thực hiện một cái line thì mình sẽ dùng nó để biết được là cái gì? Cái kết quả của cái line đó. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, it will it will be um, you know, more effective when we doing the you know, full trace at a, at once. Uh -huh dạ con con anh thấy một cái một tray thì nó sẽ mình of course this one will much more effective if we do like two trays or yeah. three even three even you know but three is going to be much more complicated you know yeah anyway next one um, yeah I think that's all all right we can talk about like uh, human genetics here transmission of mono and polygenic traits sự dẫn truyền của những cái tính trạng đơn uh, uh, gọi là tính trạng đơn tính trạng đa đa tính trạng hay là đơn tính trạng uh, autosomal and X-linked heredity diseases những bệnh mà liên quan đến những thể thường X-linked là những thể giới tính. We can talk about that now. It's a big massive topic. Yeah, cái inheritance pattern nó em chưa làm tiền thế. No. Inheritance pattern. You haven't done it? Okay, um, maybe go on to um, chromosomal theory of heredity and yeah. then something like that, molecular genetics, something like that, structure and duplication of DNA, cấu trúc DNA, sự nhân phân đôi, nhân dân, vân vân. Yeah. You can go to that now. The chromosome theory of inheritance, um, it basically comes from um, its original is uh, Burberry Sutton's theory of inheritance 
and and then now it changed into chromosome theory of inheritance. So uh, in the past, there was a um, German biologist uh, named Theodor um, Bottery. Was he was working on um, the sea outings, and he found out that in order to proper um, embryo embryonic development um, on the chromosome. All the chromosomal pairs have to be present in the in the embryo, and also um, at the same time there was an um, American genetic and physician. Uh, his name is Walter Sutton. Uh, he was working on Sultan, the, right? yeah Sultan Sultan. He was working on the grasshoppers, and he found out that. Is it Walter Sutton something? No, no, it's it's Walter uh, Sutton, S U T T O N. All oh, right, of course. How could I miss yeah. this guy? He's an American geneticist and biologist. Yeah. Vanter, uh, of course, so, uh, so Sutton. He studied um, grasshopper and then sea urchins and then other thing. Oh, there's another person. It's a Morgan, you know, a Morgan. Yeah. He died like uh, around World War One. Yeah. Khoảng thời kỳ thứ nhất là ông chết rồi. All right. Um, please continue to talk about Sultan. What happened? Yeah. So, uh, he found out that the chromosome occurred in pair, and during meiosis, um. It separate from one another in the the gametes formed. So a pair of chromosome contains one from, and he um, and he uh, predict that a pair of chromosome contains one from mother and one from father. So um, with all of this work from, uh, these two, um, biologists, um, it come up. We come up with the. Uh, Borary Sutton theory of inheritance, and it later changed into chromosome theory of inheritance. So basically, the chromosomal theory of inheritance is supported for Mendel's work. Uh, it said there are four main points in the, um, this theory of inheritance. It said chromosome once uh, comes, chromosome comes in pairs. Mm -hmm. um, now it changed into uh, the word. It changed into the word we call yes, homo what's it called? homologous, 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 uh, homologous chromosome. Homologous, homologous, homologous chromosome. Đồng dạng. Homologous chromosome. Okay. And. Um, the, the second point is that one chromosome from one mother, from mother and one from father. Um, the mm. third one is that chromosome from a pair uh, separate during meiosis. And this one um, kind of like support into um, the law of separation of Mandel. And um, the last one is that uh different different chromosome are sort uh independently in the in the gametes so that one also uh support for the lot of independent assortment of Mendel. so on and on uh the the chromosome theory of inheritance they are all support for Mendel's work can i take um Actually, this one is new. I, I don't think we I, I have learned it in high school. Right, of course this part is new. Cái cái khúc mà nhân đôi DNA nó liên quan đoạn Okazaki fragment rồi mấy cái thứ nữa. Yeah. All right, so basically talk about structure of DNA. Do you know the structure of DNA? Yeah. Um so um the, the building C block the ribose nucleic acids. Can you yeah. talk about a structure? DNA uh, is abbreviated for a re abbreviated for deoxyribose nucleic acid. 
uh, the building block of DNA are nucleotide. So, um, so the nucle the structure of nucleotides um, it contains um, a, a nitrogenous base, and we have in in DNA we have four kinds four different kinds of nit nitrogenous base. We have um, the the G. Okay, okay, G. Đó, I'm going to mất rồi con. Uh, G C T A C is um, okay. G. Uh, basically, uh, let's start from A T G and then C. Okay, A yeah. is adenine. Adenine. T is thymine. Thymine. G is guanine. Guanine. And C is cytosine. 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 Oh, yeah. Sorry. Cytosine. Cytosine. Um, and then we have um, uh, DLC ribose sugar and a phosphate group. So basically, nucleotides contains nitrogenous base, uh, DLC ribose sugar, uh, and phosphate group. Mm -hmm. And uh, in nitrogenous base, it has two common types. Um, we have purines and uh, purine. Pyrimidines. Pyrimidine, pyrimidine. Yeah, pyrimidines. Mm -hmm. like, um, there's one thing I confused that is what is the, the main difference between these two? Can you explain that? Which one? Which two? Uh, purine and pyrimidine. Purines are purines contain two rings, while um, pyrimidines. Contain only one ring in its structure. Okay, so basically, look at this one: purines and pyrimidines. Differences you can see here. <clears throat> For purines, you have A and G, isn't it? So it's two rings which take up more space than pyrimidines, which is only one ring only. Cái pyrin nó bự uh -huh. hơn nhiều nha, nó tốn nhiều không gian hơn so với cái pyrimidin Cho nên là khi mà một bên là một vòng purin thì bên bên đối diện bắt buộc phải là một dòng pyrimidin để mà nó khớp vào với nhau như nào Chứ nếu mà một bên một pyrin, bên kia cũng pyrin nữa thì nó sẽ bị lật cái 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 đoạn DNA ra, nó không có song song nhau nữa Nó bị nó bị uh, phá vỡ cái khoảng cách giữa hai mặt đúng không? Yeah. So basically pyrin is like much bigger than pyrimidins here because they have two rings. So basically, if you have a purine in, on the left side of the DNA strand, the other one on the other side must be a pyrimidin, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so basically, you can see some structures here. Uh, yes, HD please. There you go. <clears throat> so, you, if uh, you have an A, adenine, it must be connected to timing of T with two hydrogen bondings. No with T, A, B, T, you have a highly cut hero. And if you have a G, guanine, it must be linked to a C, cytosine, with three hydrogen bondings, okay? G, B, C, bằng ba liên kết hero nha. Thì ba liên kết hero đâu ra? Cái liên kết đầu hero đầu tiên là chỗ cái O này nè với wow. cái hydrogen của cái chỗ cái NH2 này nè. This is the first the place the first uh, hydrogen bond can be formed. Yeah. The second hydrogen bond is here. Cái chỗ NH này nè. Here and this nitrogen here. And the third hydrogen bond is between this hydrogen here and the lone pair of this oxygen. Hai cái dấu chấm, hai hai cái uh, electron tự do hay là cặp đôi electron tự do của cái oxygen này và cái H này ba chỗ cho nên nó tạo thành ba liên kết hydro so three places you have three hydrogen bonds with purine with adenine and thymine let's look at this one this hydrogen of the NH2 can form hydrogen bondings with the lone pair of its oxygen nó tạo liên kết hydro với cái uh, cái o cái uh, hay cái lone pair cặp đôi electron tự do của cái oxygen này nè cái thứ nhì đó chính là cái chỗ nào 
cái chữ cái cái lon pair của cái n này nè và cái chữ h chỗ này it's a lone pair of nitrogen here and a hydrogen here you know there's a second hydrogen bond that you can form yeah any question yeah. so okay. two hydrogen uh, bonds say again yeah em em hiểu ạ all right và hai cái bây giờ nói chung là hai cái mặt đó, nó song song nhau một khoảng cách bằng nhau giữa hai mặt thì một bên là purine bên kia phải là pyridine thôi mm, all right yes. so uracil you can only find that in uh, d uh, sorry uh, in rna right yeah uracil is basically to replace uh, thymine in term yeah. in, in case of uh, rna giống như uracil để thay thế thymine nó trong trường hợp là rna vậy đó Yeah. Okay, anything else you can mention about the structure of DNA? <clears throat> um, so, the, so the DNA flows from 3' uh, prime to 5' prime. Đúng rồi, chiều 5 phải đến 3 phải. To... Wait, yeah. 5 phải đến 3 phải chứ? 3 phải đến 5. Luôn luôn từ 5 phải đến 3 phải nha. 5' prime to 3' prime, okay. Careful. Okay. <cười> Look at this one, you can see. Nó luôn luôn cái đầu năm phải, năm đầu năm phải là cái đầu mà nối với nước phosphate nè. The five prime is yeah. the one that connect to the phosphate group, okay? And it flow to the five, uh, three prime end, okay? Lúc nào gốc phosphate lúc đầu tiên, always you draw the phosphate group first, okay? And that's just 5 prime. And then the sugar. And then the base. Phải luôn vẽ gốc phosphate yeah. trước rồi sau đó đến cái cái đường rồi mới đến cái bazơ. Cho nên lúc này nó cũng là 5 phẩy đầu tiên. Và đến 3 phẩy nha. It's always 5 prime to the 3, to the 3 prime end, you know. 3 is this one. Nè, cái đầu 3 phẩy là cái đầu này nè. Cái đầu 3 phẩy là cái này nè. Cái chỗ OH như nè. Yeah. And the other um, strand is the opposite, but in the opposite direction. But it's all, but it's still five prime to three prime n. Okay, dù cái mặt đối diện nó cũng là năm phẩy ba phẩy nhưng mà nó đối nghịch nhau thôi, ngược hướng lại thôi. Yeah. So like they 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 parallel each other, but they flow in the opposite the opposite direction. direction. That's why DNA it's uh what's it called anti parallel to each other. Nó song song ngược chiều nhau nha. Yeah. Song song ngược chiều nhau. Anti parallel to each other. Parallel, parallel yeah. là song song thì anti là ngược chiều lại. <cười> yeah. Okay, anything else? And then um, that is why we can only add um add you know like new group on um the 3 prime and Say again. Um, kiểu là nó chỉ có thể add cái góc mới vào cái góc đầu báo phẩy nữa đây. It, it can only add it on three prime end. Which one? Cái gì gắn vào mới được chứ? I don't understand. Mình, 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 mình gặp một cái. Uh, Yes, I'm listening. Có nghĩa là nó chỉ có thể gắn cái góc phosphate yeah, vào okay. cái đầu. But the phosphate group is actually at the five prime end. Nó lúc nào cái cái oh. góc phosphate cũng là năm phẩy mà. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I think I, I... Okay. Um, you have the next one is a duplication of DNA. Why do you need duplication of DNA? Tại sao phải gấp đôi DNA lên? Yeah, I I don't think <laughs> I think I can I can do that later because I have just done. To... The answer is very simple because when a cell as the cell um, reproduces, you need to uh, duplicate. You need to um, increase the amount of DNA as well. Khi mà tế bào nó nó xuân chia ra, mình cũng phải nhân đôi lên cái số lượng DNA chứ. Vâng. Uh -huh. Đương xứng rồi. And that will include. Uh, you will have 
um, DNA replication that is a huge part okay you need to do that later yeah can you write it down yeah okay and then photosynthesis you have a what's it called transcription sao mẹ và dịch mẹ and translation that is a hard one okay dạ là nó bao gồm trong cái duplication đúng không thầy sorry the transcription and translation no, is no, no. Duplication DNA nó chính là DNA replication đấy. Yeah. Còn cái transcription và okay. translation nó nằm trong protein synthesis. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next one. Sounds like a lot okay. of things to do. Okay, do you need time for those things? Those in the... Uh, okay, what are you the, confused about? Um, the... Um, model of heredity. Model of what? In, like Models model of heredity. Of... Mô hình... Uh, mấy cái gọi là cái mô hình của chuyện... Um, Di chuyển. Nó có phải là những cái mà incomplete uh, dominance rồi uh, core 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 dominance không này? I think Được so. Là... Models of heredity. I think it's about incomplete dominance, complete dominance, uh, excellent. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, excellent. something like that. Tất cả những cái 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 cách để mà di chuyển như vậy. And then that part, you should talk about like, for example, những cái bệnh, you should talk about diseases, and yeah. each cases, and then uh, A, B, O, blood group, something like that. Yeah. So like, uh, the res có cái là the recessive X-linked inheritance. Cái đó hay yes. Recessive X-linked inheritance. Well, it has recessive X-linked inheritance. Yes. You need time to prepare for that part. Yeah, I, I think um... Okay, that's the end of my videos. Please like, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and press on the bell button next to the subscribe button so you can get notified about my new uploads, okay? You can also follow, press follow my Facebook, but please don't add me on Facebook as friends, okay? Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi nha. Các bạn hãy nhấn vào like, chia sẻ video này bạn bè các bạn. Nhấn vào nút đăng ký kênh YouTube mình và nút cái chuông kế bên cạnh để đăng ký kênh đó, để mà các bạn có thể được thông báo về những video mới nha. Các bạn cũng có thể nhấn vào nút theo dõi Facebook mình nhưng nhớ đừng kết bạn Facebook mình nha. Thank you and see you. Bye!